Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today's homework helper is going to be on the ideal gas law. So get out your periodic table, get a calculator, and let's get going. I'm going to make some assumptions today. I'm going to assume that you know the gas law. I'm going to know, assume that you know molar mass and you understand unit analysis as well as the SI unit. So what's the problem? The density of liquid nitrogen is 0.807 grams per milliliter. If a person accidentally swallowed a 0.025 milliliter drop, what would the volume become in their body at 100 kilopascals and 37 degrees Celsius? All right, well, let's analyze the problem. I realize I want to find the volume, and they have given me density, which I can use to find the mass. And I have the pressure and the temperature. At first, one might think about using the combined gas law. But in reality, what I want to use is the ideal gas law. And so let's go to the magic blackboard. There's the ideal gas law. We have uh, pressure. We have our volume. We have moles, the ideal gas constant. And we have temperature. And remember, the temperature here is in Kelvin. Our pressure is 100 kilopascals, which in the problem will change into uh, atmospheres. We're looking for the volume. So let's uh, rearrange the problem there. Just you do a little algebra. And then uh, I need to know the moles. Let's put in the uh, ideal gas constant and our temperature. And of course, that's 37 plus 273 will give us the Kelvin. Always want to make sure that you change it to Kelvin. And the only thing I'm missing is moles, and so I need to calculate that. So let's go and calculate that. 0.025 milliliters of nitrogen. Multiply it by the density, and that gives me the mass. We'll just cross out the milliliters, plug and chug it, and I'm going to go with three sig figs. And now let's take the mass, multiply it by the molar mass. Now. One thing that people make a big mistake with here is that they forget nitrogen is diatomic. Remember, in nature or in its natural state, nitrogen is diatomic. And so it's not going to be one mole per 14.01 grams. It's going to be one mole per 28.02 grams because it's diatomic. Remember that. Grams cancel out and voila, we've got our moles. Now, let's take that mount over to the original problem and fill in our moles. Now, let's fill in our equation. Volume is going to equal the moles times R times temperature divided by the pressure. And of course, notice I'm changing the pressure into atmospheres. Moles cancel out. Kelvin cancels out. Pascals or kilopascals cancel out, and the atmospheres cancel out, leaving us with liters. So let's put that into our calculator and plug and chug, and we get 0 0.01857 liters of uh, nitrogen. However, the problem asks for milliliters, so let's just adjust that. And also, we have only two sig figs as I analyze the problem. So our answer is 19 milliliters of nitrogen. That's a pretty good problem. Good practice. Let's recap. You used the ideal gas law. You found moles from density and molar mass. And you also you used your calculator. If you have any questions, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. Check out my uh, videos at my website. And you can also go to uh, YouTube. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots of great information there. Happy Island.